Before we get started, I have one spot left for a three-day wilderness float trip next June, and I'd love it if you could join us. You can email me through my website for more information, and while you're there, check out the members area for exclusive content. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman, and today's video is all about regional fly fishing stereotypes. I've made a video about how your style of fishing tells us what kind of person you are. In this video, I'll talk about how where you live and fish shapes you into the type of fisherman that you will be. In this video, I'm just going to talk about the U.S. because we're the best. If I don't mention your area, it's not because I forgot, it's because you don't matter. And if you like this video, I can do an international one next time. We'll begin in the right Rocky Mountain states. First up, Colorado. If you're a fly fisherman from Colorado, you live in Denver and your home water is a two hour drive from where you live. Oh, you live in Fort Collins or the Springs? Yeah, that's all Denver. If you're from Colorado, you fish tailwaters almost exclusively and you have no problem fishing around 500 other people. You spent one summer fishing small creeks and lakes up in the mountains and then you went back to your regular routine on the plat. Or maybe you fished the REI hole in Denver one time and didn't catch a carp. Also, if you have Colorado plates on your vehicle, just know that all of the other Rocky Mountain states hate you, especially the cowboys up north in Wyoming. If you're a fly fisherman from Wyoming, the smallest fly in your box is a size two. Also, you're not a cowboy. You carry floss in your boat bag to get the dust out of your teeth. You don't sleep in a tent when you're camping because your last one got destroyed by the wind. You fish tailwaters like the greenies down south, but they're bigger and you do it from a drift boat. Speaking of drift boats, if you're a fly fisherman from Montana, that's all you do fish from a drift boat. There's no way you're going to walk a couple miles and wade fish like a peasant when you can sit in a boat all day. Hey, I get it. I feel the same way. If you're a fly fisherman from Montana, your favorite hobby is complaining about all the out-of-state fishermen, even though you just moved to Bose Angeles six months ago. That's kind of like Idaho. If you're a fly fisherman that lives in Idaho, chances are you're not from Idaho. You mostly trout fish, you dabble in a little steelheading, and you hate people from Utah. If you're a fly fisherman from Utah, when you're not fishing fishing in Idaho, you're at one of the three places to fish in Utah. When you're not doing that, you're watching Devin Olson or Lance Egan videos, or maybe talking about doing a trip to the Uintas that'll never happen because you'll just go to Dutch John like you always do. But at least you don't live in New Mexico. If you're a fly fisherman from New Mexico, first of all, I'm sorry. But secondly, I know one thing about you for sure. You have fished the Texas Hole. New Mexico has one place to fish. It's on the San Juan River, and it's called the Texas Hole. That's it. There's nothing else. You can fish it all day, and there's a bathroom if you need to take a dump. Book a trip with my friend James from About Trout. Okay, let's move on from the mountains. How about an easy one? Florida. Listen, if you've got a spinning rod under the gunnel of your boat, you are not a fly fisherman. That's like 99% of you guys. Leave the spinning rod at home. What are you afraid of? Not catching a fish? grow up. Now, not everyone in Florida is on a boat. There are a ton of people on foot and riding bikes. These are the cool Florida anglers. They've got canals, ditches, beaches, ponds, tons of roadside stuff. I have a lot of respect for the boatless Florida angler because they'll fish for all that weird stuff down there and it usually takes a bit of effort. I mean, do you want to go ride a bike in Florida in August? Yeah, me neither. Let's do another easy one. North Carolina. I ripped on these dudes pretty good in my other stereotype video. Bunch of kids that think they're reinventing fly fishing up in the hills, but there's a whole other world that they seem oblivious to. The Piedmont and the coast. Dude, freshwater stripers, bass, there's some muskies around, redfish, albies, there's gotta be some good carp fishing somewhere. If you live in North Carolina and you're constantly driving west to go fish, the people going east are real happy about that. Now let's hop over the mountain into Tennessee. Kind of the same deal over there. Everyone's all hopped up on trout goofballs and not fishing for anything else. The first time I fished in Tennessee, I caught like six different kinds of fish and none of them were trout. Don't get me wrong, you've got some great trout fishing in Tennessee, but you guys play it up like it's better than out west and well, it's just not. All right, let's go up to Pennsylvania now. You know Joe Humphreys invented your own nymphing like a long time ago, right? Listen, no one cares and you have a funny accent. Bob Clouser is the real hero over there. If you're not fishing the Susquehanna, you're an idiot. Yins go have fun with your trout. One state north of Pennsylvania, we have New York. They've got a little bit of everything. You've got the dry fly dorks on the Delaware that wish they were born 100 years ago, maniacs from the city with a death wish making hero casts on jetties. Up north, they're fishing the fake ensemble and confusing everyone. And then you've got the Great Lakes trips. I'm just gonna put the entire Great Lakes region in 
into one category, even the Canadian part. First of all, there is a strong fishing tradition around the Great Lakes. Your grandpappy taught you how to fish and your family has a cabin on a lake somewhere. Great Lakes fly fishermen don't overlook the wealth of species around them. They'll fish for pretty much anything, but then there's fall. I don't know if it can hold a candle to opening day of deer season, but when the migratory fish start running out of the lakes, everything is focused on that. You know what I'm talking about here, and I can't say it. I just don't feel comfortable calling these fish steelhead. Yeah, they're really neat fish, but come on, quit kidding yourself. Cool sucker spawn flies though. What about the salmon? Yeah, I'll call them salmon, but they're more zombie than salmon. Flossing a half dead fish only to have it drip its uh, slime all over you is not my idea of a good time. Those fish are gross and unappealing. Now there is one part of the Great Lakes region that deserves its own discussion. That's Michigan. If you ever see someone stick their rod six feet into the water and figure eight a trout streamer, they're from Michigan. If someone asks you to go fishing between the hours of midnight and 4 a.m., they're from Michigan. If someone invites you onto their V-hole to blind cast for muskies and five footers in open water, they're from Michigan. Listen, I like you Michigan guys, but you're a little intense for me sometimes. All right, now let's go down to Arkansas. I'd like to fish there someday. You guys are cool. Big fish, strong streamer game, then you know how to switch it up to dries or throw some smallies in the mix. Honestly, I'm just surprised that no one has run that one guy out of town yet. If you don't know who I'm talking about, ask the folks in Idaho. All right, now let's move on down to Texas. If you're a fly fisherman from Texas, there's a real good chance that you don't fish in Texas at all. Ever. Instead of doing that yearly trip to Pagosa Springs that you do with your Petro buddies, try giving your own state a shot. It's huge, TM, and there's tons of fishing. Despite what your neighbor told you, you can catch bass on a fly rod. You can even catch a trout on the old Guadalupe. Texas even has a little bit of shoreline where a redfish might eat your fly. Next time I fish in Texas, I would like to fish at Possum Kingdom because it's called Possum Kingdom. Now let's head up to the Pacific Northwest. I'm just talking about Washington and Oregon here, maybe a little California. We can do BC later. If you're a fly fisherman in the PNW and you're not using a spay rod, you're doing it wrong. But why do all the two-hander people think they're better than everyone else? As someone who's pretty in touch with his own arrogance, I don't get it. You think you're cool because your reel goes clicky clicky? You're wrong. Truly enlightened anglers don't need everyone around them to hear a fish taking line. But maybe if I only caught two fish a year, I'd make a big deal out of it also. Okay, let's finish up in Alaska, the overpriced frontier. If you live in Alaska and you're a fly fisherman, you have many beads in your tackle box. You know it's not fly fishing, but you don't care because you're just trying to fill the freezer. Nothing wrong with that. Alaskans also like to think that they're somehow better than everyone else. Like they're super tough and roughing it in their modern house with all the amenities that we have down south too. Oh, it's dark in the winter? Quit complaining. You're the one that moved there. You're just mad because you don't have any brown trout. And that's it for this video. How'd I do? Was I accurate? Leave me a comment and let me know who I missed or if you want me to do another one of these. I'll be back as soon as I can with another huge fly fisherman video. Until then, go fish somewhere new and make friends with the locals and stay huge. I didn't bring any beer. I wasn't sure what to do with my hands the whole time.